Okay, now let's see how matrices can be used to solve system of equations. Here we have a system of equations of two variables, two unknowns, x and y, and two equations. Now, the first step to solving this is to rewrite this in matrix form. So here we have it in matrix form. Now, you might wonder why this matrix form is same as that. First notice that these numbers 2, negative 3, 3, and negative 4 are just the coefficients of the, of the left side, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 4. And 1, 2 are the constants on the right side. To see why this matrix equation is same as that, what you have to do is you have to calculate this left side. So let's try to calculate this left side. I'll cross down, that gives you 2x minus 3y. And then you have 3 times x and negative 4. I'll cross down, 3 times x, negative 4y. 3x, negative 4y. That's the result of the calculation on the left side. And since that has to equal to the right side, 1 and 2, you have exactly the same condition because for two matrices to agree, their corresponding elements must agree. 2x minus 3y has to be 1. 3x minus 4y equals to 2, exactly as it's required over there. So you can see that we have succeeded in rewriting that as a matrix equation. But then what? How do we solve this matrix equation using what? And our helper is the formula for inverse of a matrix uh, that we learned in the previous video. Let's try to figure out the inverse of this left side. 2, negative 3, 3, negative 4. The formula says it must be 1 over d, d being ad minus bc. That's the determinant, which is 2 times negative 4, that's negative 8, minus negative 3 times 3, that's negative 9. And that's what you have. And for this matrix, it's just changing the diagonals. Uh, the diagonals change their places, and B and C must be negated. negated. So we take this diagonal, change their places, negative 4 and 2. These two should be negated, so you have positive 3 and negative 3. And luckily for us, this is just 1. So we just get that as our inverse of, a, of the matrix. So that's our inverse. When we get this inverse, what do we do with it? We are, we are going to take the original equation, and we are going to multiply this to the left side of each. And let me write down what I mean. Here's the equation. Uh, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 4, x, y equals to 1, 2. And you're going to multiply that inverse matrix, which was uh, negative 4, 3, negative 3, 2, negative 4, 3, negative 3, 2. So we multiply that. And because we are multiplying the same thing both sides, these two sides should still be equal. Let's compute this side. If you do this, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus negative 8 is just 1. Negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. 3 times negative 4. L let me do this quickly because actually I know the result. The result should be what? 1, 0, 0, 1. Why is that? Well, we are multiplying the inverse of a matrix to the inverse, and we learned that when that happens, we just get the identity matrix. So that's what we get on the left side. Let's see what we get on the right side. I'll cross down negative 4 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus negative 4, that's 2. I'll cross down negative 3 times 1, 2 times 2, that's 1. Huh. We're almost close to the answer because identity times anything is that matrix itself. 
I mean, you can actually c compute this across dot 1 times x, 0 times y. That's just x. 0 times x, 1 times y. That's just y. So that result can be written as x, y equal to 2, 1, which tells you that the solutions are x equal to 2 and y equal to 1. Problem solved. Now let's review what happened. We first started with this equation and changed it into this matrix well, matrix form and by doing that we were able to get the two solutions of this system x as x equal to 2 and y equal to 1. Now to point out the general theory here's what we do. Always when you have a system of equations you can turn that into a matrix form a x equal to b where this a is that matrix over there x is the uh, column vector of unknown variables x and y or sometimes if it, you, you have three unknowns you can write down x y and z and then b matrix is the constants that are on the other side now when we have such a form all we have to do is find the a inverse and multiply it to that equation which just cancels the a on the left side giving you this single solution x equal to a inverse of b so that's how the theory goes ax equal to b can be solved as x equal to a inverse of b